Hey, welcome back to me talking about Amori. I'll be honest with you guys, I never thought the last video would do as well as it did. Personally, I think I suck at speaking what's on my mind, and I thought people would be interested in some surface level connections I made up on a whim. Thank you for proving me wrong, and it's time to relive that anxiety with another... Inside Sunny's Mind, Bosses Edition. Now to preference, I'm not going to be talking about all the bosses, because either I don't know, or they're just something that Sunny made up. So if you have any opinions on the bosses I do talk about, or the ones I skipped, please tell me in the comments, because uh, just like you, I'm grasping at straws. The Earth. As the wiki states, the Earth's overall appearance basically looks like the planet it's named after. Nah, I'm fucking with you. The first boss we'll be talking about is... Mr. When He Flexes, He Feels His Best, Pluto. As the wiki states, Pluto is a representation of the real-life planet Pluto, but with buff arms and legs. He is described as intimidating. His overall appearance is based off of Kel's pet rock in the real world. Damn, the wiki's doing half the work for me. Well, to get the obvious out of the way, Yes, Pluto is based off the former planet, now dwarf planet, Pluto. Now either Sunny really likes the planet, I mean dwarf planet, or, and these are the ones I'm leaning towards, in the Space Boyfriend comic, Pluto was his favorite planet, slash it was Kel's favorite planet, based off the pet rocket game you can play in Far Away Town. Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey used to read the Space Boyfriend comic, and either Pluto was in it, or, Kel's preference bled into Sunny's idea of Space Boyfriend. Speaking of the Cosmos male significant other, Space Boyfriend is the easiest to pinpoint. As the wiki states, The comic that Captain Space Boy appears in during the real world segments in Far Away Town, Sunny also possesses Captain Space Boy memorabilia, such as this Captain Space Boy action figure. Well, the wiki says it all, but the main theorizing comes from from his connection with Sweetheart. We don't know why they're together, but by judging from the photo where Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are reading the comic, he is indeed a boyfriend for at least that chapter. To who? I don't know. But here's a theory for why Sweetheart is his girlfriend. Now, we don't know exactly where they read the comic, but they could have read it in the candy store within the other mark. And that leads us to... our sweet jelly-filled donut herself. Sweetheart. Now it's not for certain, but I think Sweetheart is based off of Miss Candace. They look very similar and act happy, albeit in different ways. It's possible that Miss Candace's persona served as an inspiration for Sweetheart in Headspace, as both characters are quite pompous and have similar appearances. However, it's more likely that Miss Candace just influenced how Amori characterized Sweetheart in his dreams. Evident by the fact that a Sweetheart doll can be found in the Amori route. Like I said, grasping at straws. The reason she might be a villain in Headspace might be because of their time spent together reading the Space Boyfriend comic, or from what we see, she could be assertive when ushering out Kim Advance and other Mark. <laughs> Do you guys smell bread? Unbreaded twins. They are the Headspace counterparts of the Maverick's siblings, Daphne and Bowen. I really don't have to do anything, the wiki just does it for me. But their family owns a bakery in Nethermart, which could inspire Breadvin itself. What? That's also on the wiki. So you're telling me Neb gets a stub, but the Maverick's brother and sister get full wiki pages? Oh, okay, alright. From what we see in the fight, those two could have been miserable doing work at the family business, or Sunny could have been self-projecting. Who knows? The reason they're a boss is the fact that they are so self-absorbed in their job that they don't view the gang as people, just bread that has come back to get them. It doesn't matter how quick or how slow, the more you struggle, the deeper we'll go. Humphrey. So Humphrey is based off the children's book, Hungry Humphrey, that can be found when sorting your belongings. The title of the book explains everything about Humphrey, and why he is the way he is within Sunny's mind. And thanks to the wiki, this book may be in reference to two real-life children's books, Humphrey the Lost Whales, A True Story, and The Very Hungry Caterpillar. 
Now, I can't explain the hot slime girls that Sunny thinks of, but goddamn, I've never wanted a dream to be real so bad. I'm like, fuck. It just makes sense to me that a hungry whale that you enter could turn into a hazard that the gang has to escape from. Kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> well, that's that. Thank you so much for your support on the last videos. I bet you all have some wacky-ass ideas for this, and much better thoughts than I. In the last months alone, I've gained 30-plus subscribers, which is fucking crazy to me. It took me almost three years to gain the first 30. You all are crazy, and thank you for checking out my bullshit videos. As always, if you like this, please let me know in the comments, and come up with your own theories, because it's fun, and I want to share this experience. Now, I'm not going to be a theory channel, but it's fun to flex your brain every once in a while. Thanks for watching and oh yes to me.